color and line, certainly um, I find that if I'm having trouble, if I am stuck, if I do ask myself um, what is the emotion of the moment of this drawing, whether it's um, in a book like Yo Yes or um, a book like The Heliquid by Window, if I stick to trying to capture the emotion in terms of the line and the color, the finished drawing is coherent and makes sense. If I, which is sometimes surprising in that it can be um, a quite rough looking thing and yet it can still function better than if I am focused, in, focused really on trying to get it right somehow, whatever that right might mean. And the right, well, probably the right means that uh, the nose is where the nose should be, the eyes are where the eyes should be, uh, which, which um, gets you away from uh, the fact that this really is just a collection of um, colors and lines. They're not, you're not creating a sculptural uh, image an anatomically correct image. It's an emotional bunch of stuff. And if the, if the eyes are over large and yet it fits um, that emotion, no one notices. This, this kind of abstraction continues to fascinate me, especially when you're drawing um, children. Um, that's, that can be why it's very hard to come up with good children, I think. Uh, with animals, we are already more used to abstracting them. You know, a dog can be quite abstracted, uh, and you can get away with it. With a child, when that abstraction gets, um, it, it's, we're just, we're cl obviously closer to children, so the abstraction has to really work, uh, and you have to be quite uh, diligent about it somehow. Um, as I'm speaking, I'm thinking that uh, the abstraction, we can get used to all kinds of different abstraction and for instance in the world of animation, the Powerpuff Girls, those are super abstracted uh, images uh, with huge eyes. Uh, I think the fingers are not delineated in any way. They're just kind of like teardrops. And I think that's quite wonderful that that has worked. Um, and uh, or when you think of Mickey Mouse, he has basically a thumb and three fingers. And you realize why that's the case. Getting that fourth finger in there is annoying. It's too many fingers. And they become too thin in a sense when you're drawing. So it, the three-fingered uh, Mickey Mouse was a proper solution to that hand. I won't say all children are more open to abstraction than all adults. Maybe, maybe they are. Um, I think on the whole though, adults become, we as adults become more um, word oriented and more uh, we, we are we want things to be um, explained to us uh, with words and when we go to a museum we immediately look at the panel describing the the uh, painting uh, the small description to the right of the painting it gives us a way of uh, handling that painting. And sometimes when I go to museums, I try to, I just say, well, not read anything. I'm just going to look. I think, um, I think that's one, one aspect of why children might be more, more open to uh, a, an abstract or, a, or what we would call a uh, rough or or um, almost grotesque line. Uh, I loved uh, Ludwig Bemelmann's drawing.
drawings always as a child, never ever dreamed of them as anything other than just right, and was shocked as an adult to read that the reviews of his work uh, were often that he could not draw, that he couldn't, um, that he was an awful artist. I think he was a, a masterful artist. And to, but the thing is to pull that off, that kind of roughness, accurately, and or to to have it work is not an easy thing to do. But it's not it's not something that I, as a child, ever uh, ever questioned. It was it appealed to me immediately. Um, and emotionally, and I liked the, I liked that loose line, very much. And I always, I always did as a child. I never, never thought about it really, as as uh, some kind of uh, as anything wrong or abnormal. I like uh, Roger Duvoisin as well. Uh, I like a lot of the, the folks of that day, Esfir Slobodkina. Um, William Steig, a little sort of the same tradition, brought brought along further. Um, those are those are my heroes. And uh, in terms of children's books, um, the the, the are fan fantastic. I love them.